Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Kevin Cosby here in Louisville, Kentucky, St. Stephen Baptist Church, with another powerful point to ponder as we spend meaningful moments with the Master on a daily basis. Thank you for joining me this, this week as we launch out into a topic that I hope will bring healing to a lot of people. And let me say up front that whenever a minister is studying the word to deliver the word, it works on the minister while the minister is sharing the word so that it can work on you. And here is one of these lessons for the entire week that has brought a lot of healing to my own personal life as a result of the study and the research. And I'm confident that it can bring some healing to you also. And this week's focus is simply this, healing the wounded child within. Healing the wounded child within. How to recover as an adult from a dysfunctional childhood. How can you heal the child within you? You can be in your 30s, your 40s, your 50s, your 60s, your 70s, and 80s. In fact, there's no limit to how old you can get that you can still carry with you the trauma of having to be raised in a dysfunctional home where you experience some form of abuse that you have not been able to extricate yourself from mentally and emotionally. And this week, we're going to talk about how to heal the wounded child within. And we're going to look at a, a fella uh, by the name of Mephibosheth. And what a name, Mephibosheth. You know, they probably called him, they probably just named him Phoebe. Hey, what's up, Phoebe? But his name is Mephibosheth. And I want you to read with me something about Mephibosheth that's found in the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 4 and verse 4. And this is what it says. Saul's son, Jonathan, had a son named Mephibosheth. So who is Mephibosheth? He is the grandson of Saul, the son of Jonathan. Now, who is Saul? Saul was the first king of Israel who would be succeeded by David. So Mephibosheth is Saul's grandson. And this is what we're told, who was crippled as a child. When was he crippled? He, he was five years old when the report came from Jezreel that Saul and Jonathan had been killed in battle. So Saul has, has died the king and Saul's son, Jonathan, has died, been killed in battle, and a new regime has emerged, and that's David's regime. David is the new king. And um, now that David is the king, in those days, the tendency was when a new administration ascended to power, they would always wipe out the relatives of the former regime because they did not want any competition. So here is old Mephibosheth who's lost his grandfather and his dad, Jonathan, and is in danger of being killed himself because he could um, become uh, a threat to David and say, I am the rightful heir to the throne of my grandfather, Saul. So when the word, the word came out, when the news was reported that Saul and Jonathan had been killed, something happened. It says he was five years old when the report came out from Jezreel that Saul and Jonathan had been killed in battle. When the child's nurse heard the news, she picked him up and fled. She's, she's picked him up and she's fleeing because she's trying to protect him. But as she hurried away, she dropped him and he became crippled. So let's review this. So Mephibosheth is the grandson of Saul, the son of Jonathan, the heir to the throne of Israel, and he's destined for greatness. 
But Saul and Jonathan, Saul, his grandfather, who's the sitting king, Jonathan, his father, have been killed in battle. And there's a fear that Mephibosheth may be killed also. So what does the nurse do who is guarding Mephibosheth? She picks up Mephibosheth, tries to run with Mephibosheth in her arms and drops him. And as she drops him, he becomes lame in his legs for the rest of his life. He's unable to use his legs. And here's the thing, he never will recover. Now, there are a lot of adults who got dropped when they were children. Mephibosheth is not the only one who was dropped. There are a whole lot of adults today who are suffering because they're saying, you know what? I got dropped when I was a child and I have been crippled. I have a some disability. Maybe it's not a physical disability, but it's emotional, psychological disability because those who were supposed to be protecting me and guarding me dropped me. They dropped me. And what they did in my childhood has affected me in my adulthood. Mephibosheth is crippled for the rest of his life. He has a disability for the rest of his life. And his disability, he did not cause it himself. He was just five years old. It was a disability that was caused by others. In other words, he will suffer for the rest of his life because of the malfeasance of the caregivers in his life when he was five years old. And many adults are crippled for the rest of their life because of malfeasance against them that was committed when they were young. Now think about it. Being dropped crippled him. It disabled him. He was destined for greatness, but because he is now crippled and disabled, he has been made unfit for his destiny. He is unable to work, and many of his capacities have been destroyed simply because someone else has dropped him. He is, if you remember the movie Scrooge, there was a fellow who was crippled named Tiny Tim. He is the Tiny Tim person in the Bible, and hear me, he did not deserve it. Uh, he has to live with the consequences of what someone else did. Now listen, when the nurse grabbed him and picked him up and ran with him and dropped him, she did not intend to drop him. And many adults who are suffering because they were dropped as a child, well, the mistreatment may not have been intentional. It could have been accidental. In this case of Ms. Fibichelle, it was accidental. But still, whether intentional or accidental, the results are still the same. Here is a man who's been dropped as a child and it has affected his adult life. There are some things that happened to all of us when we were children that is affecting us as adults and we have not recovered. Mephibosheth will never get his legs back. Some of you will never get your innocence back because of what took place in your life. Some of you were sexually molested, and not just molest molestation, which is the touching and fondling, but actual rape, which is actual penetration. And this is not only true for girls, please hear me, boys experience the same thing as early as five years old, just like Mephibosheth. And you were dropped by sexual molestation and you have not been whole since, or some other abuse that we're going to talk about. And the, the, the inner child in you has been wounded. And this week, Mephibosheth, we're gonna deal with you. We're gonna find out how can you recover as an adult from a dysfunctional childhood. Maybe you know someone who needs to hear the teaching this week. Please get the word out because all of us need to be healed from the hurts of the past. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, thank you for the journey that we'll be on this week. And it's going to trigger a lot of emotions in some people, but Lord, we cannot fix what we won't face. 
and you cannot heal what we conceal. So help us to look at the traumatic experiences of our childhood and so that we might be healed, that inner child might be healed for whom the sun sets free is free indeed. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I want to thank you for being with me for another powerful point to ponder. Look, if you don't have a church home, you know what I'm going to say. <laughs> and that is we welcome you to become a part of St. Stephen Church. You can become an online digital disciple. So just contact us here at St. Stephen Church. Email us and we will respond. New start at ssclive.org. Peace and blessings to you. Thank you for joining me as we journey on healing the wounded child within. May God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. But until then, don't forget during COVID-19 and this new variant called the Delta variant, please stay safe, stay sane. And remember that God is still on the throne. I'll see you later.